talk the first time you live away from home, especially if your mama is far away. That's why I absolutely love what one Florida woman is doing for students at the University of Tampa. She's stepping up to be their local second mama, which makes her a rad human. All right, let's welcome the founder of Daisy Bug Delivery, Rochelle. Give it up, y'all. Hi, Kelly. Hello, meet Rose. Meet Harry. Hi, Rose. Hi, Harry. Right. Um, so explain more about like what you do. Kelly, I help kids that are coming from primarily northern states to college. Yeah. I help them navigate and live their best life through college. Yeah. Um, I help them with grocery shopping, delivery, doctor appointments. We take them to the airport, help them check in, yeah. uh, get on their flight, and just be an ear for them. And a, a parent that's not really a parent. Yeah, that's awesome. So, do y'all remember what it was like the first time you like left home and went off on your own? I do. I mean, I'm from Australia, so I'm from really far away, and it definitely took yeah. me a few years to not be homesick, for sure. I, yeah. I you know, it took it took a while. I don't know about you, Harry. I, I went to boarding school oh, uh, in the tenth wow. grade, from California to Pennsylvania, and I had to wear a coat and tie every day and a little beanie on my head uh, until we if we won the football game, I could take it off. Uh, yeah. the, the big game. But anyway, uh, yeah, it was. Um, I, I hated it. I yeah. hated yeah. being in boarding school. I wish I had had you oh, to yeah. help, help me through it. Yeah, what an extra. Yeah, I remember. I, yeah, I like drove across the United States. I went from Texas to California. That was my first. And I drove and I was so excited. I think you get so excited and you're like, freedom. And then you get there and you're like, I know no one here. Yeah. <laughs> and it can be kind of scary, like in a city Absolutely. that you don't know and that you're having all your like adult kind of first moments. Absolutely. That's yeah. how we help navigate through that. Yeah, that's awesome. So how did you get into this? How did I get into it? Yeah. Well, I was a secretary and I also had a part-time job working, uh, delivering groceries. Yeah. And I found, Kelly, that I loved that part. And I was uh, delivering to somebody on campus and it just had a birthday cake. No, no, you don't just do birthday cakes with me because I'm a little extra. You want it to be so, special. Yes, yes. So I called the mama up and, and said, okay, what's your student's name? What is her favorite colors? What's her favorite flower? So I found out and I went with the to the baker and had them put her name on it. I went to the florist and I picked out the most gorgeous sunflower, Kelly, oh. and put it on the top of the cake. So our delay, it's not... You don't want just a cake when you're away. You want a cake that is personalized. Well, it's something for you. meaningful. Yes, yeah. yes. Her mom was blown away. Yeah. Oh, you have a song like that too. Her mom yeah. was blown away. <laughs> I love that. So, yes. So the mom posted on the parents' Facebook page, and other moms reached out. How can I do this? How can I do that? Yeah. So yeah. That's so cool. So Daisy Bug has really grown. You have helpers now. You call doodle bugs? I do. Because there's too many people to get to? I do, Kelly. Yeah. We, we have so many, so many, probably over 500 kids that we've helped so far. Wow. But yes, yes. It started with just me. That's oh, so thank cool. Thank y'all. Thank y'all. It started with just That's me. Cool. So now I have, I call them my doodle bugs, and I have a head beekeeper and scheduler. Yeah. His name is Dave. Couldn't do it without him. Yeah. And then I have grasshoppers who are my interns, and three of them are right there. Oh, I love this. Oh, What's yes. up, y'all? That's Julia, Cynthia, and Jordan. Yes, and they came all the way with me to support me. That's so cool, and also it's cool even the people that are volunteering. That's kind of like networking and finding friends, too, in a yes. different kind of way. Yes, yes. I love that. Well, you don't just bring the kids joy. You also help them in tough situations. I heard an emergency room was one time. Yes, I picked up six kids, six girls who were roofied at a local bar at different times. Um, yeah. Picked them up off the sidewalk and got oh, them back home God. to safety. Wow, that's such a... An incredible thing. I think all of us maybe could have used it at some point when we were you younger. Are kidding me? Yeah. I mean, and this should be a huge nationwide business. Every be. school yeah. should have this. Have this you know? initiative. This be, what an amazing someone. thing. You, I think you should you know, yeah. expand. Like you know really anybody? You know anybody? <laughs> no, but I, it is crazy because there are situations, though, that people get in trouble and people are afraid to call their yeah, parents. Exactly. Yes, and, yes. And it, because it's yep. like, well, wait, you don't know the whole situation, or maybe yep. they just made a poor decision. They yep. don't, you know, maybe it's. Exactly. 
not safe to call their parent, and yeah. they think that they yeah. won't, you know, that won't be a good yeah, turnout to trust, for them. To trust yes. you. So to trust you with that, and then yeah. that's yeah, and incredible. My kids, my kids do, and that that is the that's the best recognition right there. Oh man! Yeah. Well, so many parents are grateful for how Rochelle cares for their kids. That includes Sean and her son Adam, who are in the audience right now. What's up, y'all? Hi, Kelly. So, Sean, tell us how Rochelle helped you. So I live in Syracuse, New York. I have three sons. Two chose to go to SU and graduate from SU. So they needed anything, it's three miles from my house. Yeah. The youngest Adam decided, nope, he needed to go to the University of Tampa. And it was very hard for me to let him go. And he went. Mm. I wanted to buy him some groceries sometime and I saw somebody on Facebook, the one of the parent groups said, hey, there's this lady named Rochelle. She does shopping like that. So it all started with that. Then it started with rides to the airport, birthday surprises, where she's amazing about what is your child like, picks out stuff, and then I would send her stuff. Yeah. Uh, she's held stuff that I've mailed, important stuff that I couldn't have going to the dorm at the time. But for me, the most important thing has been Adam had passed out um, outside of an urgent care place, and I get a call from the urgent care place telling me they're taking him by ambulance to the hospital. And I'm freaking out because I'm in New York saying to myself, why did you ever let him go to Florida? And I called Rochelle to see if she could get him, go buy him a phone charger for me. And she said, absolutely. She calls me a little while later and she goes, no, I got him. I went to my house, grabbed some chargers, blankets, snacks, soda, or Gatorade, something like that. And she goes, I'm going to stay with him. She stayed with him the whole time. I got updates. She could talk to the doctor. Being that far away from home, it's huge to have somebody who can help you out that you trust so, so much. And her yeah. business has grown and exploded. Just, I could go on and on about the services that she's done for us and continues to do for us. But the emergency room visits, those are, those are very hard on a parent. You can imagine, you're away from your kids. I, oh my gosh, yeah. Very, very hard. And he's a junior and I still have a hard time, so. Oh, so this doesn't get easier. Thank you for that yeah. knowledge. <laughs> cool. <laughs> oh, my gosh. Well, y'all, I know that you have something that you'd like to say to Rochelle, right? Yes. So, Rochelle, you know I love you. You are left like family to me now. All the things you've done for me and Adam and continue to do for him, especially those doctor's visits when I can't be there and I know he can call you at any time and I trust you so much with him and I love you and Thank you now for being my friend and doing what you do for these kids. It's so, so important. So cool. Adam, you want to say anything? I would also like to say thank you, Rochelle, from the bottom of my heart for everything you've done for me, for helping me strive for greatness. And honestly, there's no one else that could help me with that. And mainly, you're the reason why I can do what I can do in college. And I'm very thankful for you. Oh, my God. Love you, Adam. Oh. You do so much for others, and we want to do something for you. So we're sending you on a five-night trip to Hyatt Regency Maui Resort and Spa in Hawaii. You're going, you help so many people. So you're going to stay in an oceanfront suite, experience world-class dining and unique bars, attend the award-winning, yes way, award-winning drums of the Pacific Luau. Those are fun. You're going to have so much fun. Enjoy multiple pools, endless amenities, and more. We're doing that for you because this is incredible. What you're doing for these kids. Thank it's really you. cool. Thank you. From every mama everywhere oh and daddy. Oh yeah, I hope you have so much fun. Hawaii Thank is you. fun. You're going to have a good time.